I still can't believe, still can't believe we actually spared him. And what's worse is the fact that we, well, our character basically sided with Lin without even getting the choice to. Because I definitely would not have done that on my first try. I honestly wouldn't have. To me, the idea just seems kind of foreign. But I guess that's that. So something tells me that Lao is going to have some new affinity missions because of this, or maybe he'll sacrifice himself just to protect humanity, or something, I'm not sure. But I'm also now curious. Uh, Kor. So now we're ready for finding it. If that's the case, then... Does that mean the game's almost over? Is that actually the case? Hmm. Well, either way, I guess we'll conclude things right here. Tell me you got it. Yes, sir. Thank God. Let's get it analyzed. Commander, hold on. Lau's still back at the ganglion base in Caldros. He's seriously injured. Yeah? And? What exactly are you getting at? I know you aren't suggesting we help that backstabbing bastard. He tried to kill you guys. I am, but... He's been through a lot, Commander. You know his story as well as anyone. <sighs> when we signed off on Project Exodus, we knew there'd be cases like Lao. Potentially hundreds of them. Look at Irina. She's still struggling with losing her brother. But we moved forward anyway, for the greater good of mankind. Irina didn't try to kill us. In fact, she's been doing everything she can to help further Blade's cause. Are you sure? Hmm? According to Gwyn, she's been acting strange. Reckless. Almost suicidal. Oh? He thinks maybe she wants to die. <sighs> what were you saying, it's Mustache Man? Films, but it's coming from the same place as Lau. Of course, it's no excuse for what he's done. Just putting it in perspective. Fine. We'll bring him in. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Commander. I wouldn't get too excited about it. Especially after I break every bone in his body. Uh... It's going to take a bit to complete the analysis. Let's regroup at the barracks. Mentally speaking, right? And there's chapter 11. You defeated Lao and retrieved the data terminal, but it'll still take some time to pinpoint the lifehold core. But again, does that mean we're close to actually beating the game much sooner than I had expected? Oh, I'm kind of curious. Feel like a new man. Yay. Level 52 now, and everyone else is level 51. Still. Eh, it's something. Alright. Uh, but yeah, are we actually close to being the game now? It's, I'm kind of curious. If maybe those extra chapters I was talking about, you know, 20 chapters was just some, I don't know, bonus content or something? I honestly don't know. I guess we can go over here to the barracks to see what's up around here. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, in, or in order to actually progress the story for this one, we only need to have the scale flight module. Not kidding. We go up here. That's all we need. No affinity missions, no nothing. You know what? I don't usually do this. In fact, I don't think I've ever done this, but... Seeing as we're only an hour into this... Why do you say we spend the last hour just doing this mission? I mean, heck, we... You know, it wasn't that hard to do the last one. That was a bit of an annoyance, but... 
That's just it. He was an annoyance. I say we should go for this. Oh, also, uh, let's see here. Barracks hangar, da da da. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna refuel. We're already at our maximum anyway, so I can't exactly gain more moranium, even if I wanted to. But alright. Let's do it. Yep. Get up here. Time to initiate Chapter 12. Let's see how difficult this one is in comparison to the last one. Chapter 12, Into the Core. And one decade of loading later... Seriously. And even an hour later, and we're still having loading issues. Or maybe that's just me from booting the thing up way too quickly. Brave citizens of New Los Angeles, this is your Director General, Maurice Chausson. Today, I come before you with truly joyous news. News that I have been longing to be able to share with you since we first set foot on this unknown world. Thanks to the tireless efforts of the brave men and women of Blade, we have finally, finally succeeded in securing the location of the Lifehold Core. Now make no mistake, recovery of the Core will not be easy, especially as the Ganglion continue their persecution of our people. But as long as we forge ahead with the same determination and fortitude that got us this far, I have every confidence we will succeed in our mission. We will return to our natural bodies and take our place as living, breathing residents of our new home here on Mira. Until then, I ask you all to stand together in strength and courage as proud citizens of NLA. All right, Blades. You heard what the man said. It's now or never. So let's get right to it. Your mission is to secure the Lifehold Core and activate its backup power system. We'll have the exact location isolated in the next two hours. You'll leave as soon as we have coordinates. We're counting on all of you. Each and every single Blade will participate in this mission. Godspeed. Godspeed. Hey, Gwyn! Irina! L! Long time no see, buddies! How's it going? Is Doug coming too? And obviously we've got Fog on the team, so he's definitely joining in. Alright, everybody. Dig in! The final feast! Please don't hold back. I made enough for everyone. Oh, I'm so you cooking too! Wow, you really went all out. No kidding. It smells amazing. Don't go hogging it all, Gwyn. Oh, ho, ho. Yeah, whatever. You're one to talk. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I forgot about that break how joke. kind of you to desert us like this, Lin. What in the hell is this? We're going to war here, people. And you know what they say. Can't go to war on an empty stomach. Can't go to war if you're dead, either. Which is us if the life holds power runs out. For all we know, the ganglion are already at the core, getting ready to tear it apart. Oh, calm Still down, only... Doug. Mm. If we lose this one battle, we lose everything. We already understand that, Doug. But you heard what Nagi said. We, we have, have two hours. They pinpoint the core's location. Like this? You just don't get it, do you? No, Doug. You don't get it. Explain. What? 
You think you're the only one here who's worried? We all are. We're scared to death. That's why we're here. Together. As a family! Lynn is just trying to keep up morale the best way she knows how. Yeah! Pick on Linley and you answer to Tatsu! And me! <sighs> Alright. Look, Lynn. I'm sorry. I'm on edge. Worried, freaked out, all of it. Forgive me, okay? No. But bring me ten hot cocos, and we'll talk. <laughs> that a good old Lynn deal. From that place you love, right? Okay, you got it. Enjoy this time with friends, or chow down, dive right in and start eating. No, this, I'm gonna relax, because, sure enough. Alright everyone, Lynn went to all this trouble, so let's dig in before it gets cold. The Don't final feast must begin! Oh, you're starving. No, you don't have to ask me twice. Help yourself, Doug. <laughs> Roger that. Roger Dodger! Oh, oh man, am I stuffed. Uh, I could need another bite. I could. So, Still hungry. Move. Amazing as always, Lynn. Thank you. Now I get why Arena and the Commander are always making excuses to swing by. That was delicious, Lynn. Oh, you guys. Don't make me blush. I'm just glad you enjoyed it. Well, I should be getting back. Thanks for the eats. Shall we, Lieutenant? Yeah, we'd better go too. This was really great, Lynn. Thanks. Yeah, this was fun, Lynn. Indeed. It was a most enjoyable food ritual. All right. Good luck out there, guys. Elma, the analysis is just about finished. Gather your team and get over here. On our way. Chapter 12. Secure the Lifehold Core. So yeah, looks like I seem to be at a wrong as well. Talk to Commander Van Ham in New LA's Blade Tower. Guys, this is it. This is actually the final chapter of the game. Looks like my sources were completely wrong, and I mean blah. Gee, thanks for that. Seriously, this is actually the last chapter of the game. And apparently that there are some extra ones through possible DLC? Who knows? So this is definitely going to be interesting. That being said, do I want to rush into this right away? Or do I want to wait? Hmm. That's a good question, actually. You know what? Let's get the, let's get the briefing first. Hmm, might as well. And then we'll end things off here. It's a, I know it's a little odd ending things in the middle of a chapter, but hey, think of it like, like this. I prefer a good finale to a good series. A, really, a fairly decent one in terms of story and gameplay as well. So why not end it on the best sequence that we can think of? Time to check in and get our results. That's the Lifehold Core? In the middle of the sea. The coordinates place it off the west coast of Caldros. It's no wonder we couldn't find it. It's way out in the middle of the ocean. That makes so much it sense. Seems underwater? We'll find out soon enough. Let's suit up and get going. Secretary? Our survival as a species hinges on your efforts. Elma, we need your help. Please save us. Hey, what about us? Together, Secretary. 
My goal hasn't changed since I first set foot on the White Whale. You of all people should know that. I intend to see this through. That should go without saying. I know. It's just... we've put so much on your shoulders. You can make it up to me with a nice long vacation once this is all over. This planet fascinates me to no end. I'd love to take some time to explore it with no agenda. Oh, -ho! can Tatsu be Elma's guide? Of course, Tatsu do it free of charge. It's all over the house. Let me guess, El taught you that one? We sent the coordinates to every Blade team we got. Elma, I want you to act as commander for everyone out there on the field. I'd be honored, Mr. Chief Engineer. <laughs> I forgot how much I miss being called. Commander makes me feel like some useless old stuffed shirt. Yeah, and shirts aren't your style. All right, team, let's go. Roger! Tatsu has lunches all packed! Chapter 12 in progress, one of five. Head to the waters off of Caldros. That's it then. Our location is Sandstone. We are actually heading into the sea. Never thought of all places that's where we would head off for a finale. Gotta say. But you know what? We're gonna end things off here and tomorrow, guys, ladies, gentlemen, everyone, we conclude the story to this game. We've had, you know, a lot of great moments, a lot of great affinity missions, all that stuff. But now it's time we see this game off to the finale. But not completely, because from what I've also heard, there's a... Actually, you know what? I'll keep it a secret. I'll... I won't say anything. Uh, but you know what? Either way, that will do it for this second to last session of Xenoblade Chronicles X. If you guys did enjoy, of course, as always, make sure to leave a like and comment down below. Share this video with your friends, should you feel the need to. And of course, if you're new here to the channel and want to see the finale to Xenoblade Chronicles X as it comes out tomorrow, then make sure you have subscribed and join the Dreadnights in this final battle with the Ganglion to resurrect our own bodies and to live life on Mira peacefully. Or who knows how long, maybe until an eventual sequel, but I can't say that for certain. But either way, until next time, this is Smiling Dread 4 signing out. Have a great rest of your day. Take care, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow for the epic finale to Xenoblade Chronicles X.